everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and Sir Weekly Angelic Message for the week beginning May 3rd, 2021. I want to make a quick announcement here. I will be launching the Archangel Michael 7-Day Meditation Challenge right after this video premieres. So please make sure that you get over there and check it out. There's a whole program here to lead, to explain how you know that Archangel Michael is near, how to work with him. It's a great little package. Again, be sure to check that out. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com. And of course, I still have all the other courses and extra content at gumroad.com slash angelsouls. So for this week, I tuned in and immediately I started hearing rock the boat. And I'm sitting with this and what it feels like, it's gonna be different for everybody. <laughs> there could be something in your life that sort of rocks the boat. And on the surface, it's going to be happening out in the world too. On the surface, it's going to seem like a horrible, like what kind of moment, all right? But it's a shakeup. It's a necessary shakeup is what I'm hearing. So a lot of us need to be awakened to things that need to be healed. This is the biggest thing that's going to be going on. And this is, you know, that's for the individual. So this is something to make sure that you have proper support for, okay? Get with a therapist if you need to. But this is, I'm talking about, something that's really going to set you free, <laughs> okay? Something that you suddenly have this realization of that's what's been holding me up. And it doesn't have to be a person. It doesn't have to be one specific event. It could be a patterned way of thinking. Um, you know, as I always say, a conditioning, you know, this sort of thing. So just be aware of that. Be ready for that. How do you get prepared? Self-care. Make sure you are doing your meditation practice. Make sure that you are uh, you know, moving your body in some way. You don't have to be an athlete. You don't have to be super cut, okay? <laughs> Just get out there and move your body. There's also a message here to be aware of what we're being fed from out there. So there are a lot of us already here on this planet who have seen things that are an injustice. We recognize it for what it is, and yet everyone else is sort of complacent about it and not really caring about... Um, writing things in a way that could raise the frequency of the planet. So more it's about fighting perspective. It's more about just trying to be right. And this is this time. Remember, all the videos are actually timeless. So always feel free to go back and watch whatever video you want. It's just I put a date on it because that's when I'm releasing the information. So go back and see what other messages might be coming up for you. But right now, this is... Um, you know, we're seeing through and we have seen through what needs to change, but we're seeing how people are just fighting and it's dragging the energy down. And so we're not able to move forward. So there's going to be something around that. Um, if you have been very turned off by people who are being grandiose out there and pushing agendas, that's what I'm talking about. All right. So there's this quiet observation that's happening. And all you can do is change your own frequency. Make sure that you stay in a high frequency. No matter what is out there that's trying to make you feel like you don't care. You're not doing enough. You're not this enough. You're not that enough. You're not helping enough. You're not, okay. <laughs> this also goes into the category, I've been telling people this, um, of people who think that their way of living is the correct way and everybody else should fall in and do exactly as they do. Right? So we're still in this drudgery of humanness right? and that third dimensional ego consciousness, which doesn't have to be a bad thing. But I think this is a time where we're starting to get a little bit of a shakeup and it's going to be something, again, there's the individual and then there's the world. So there could be something on an individual level where you're saying enough is enough. I'm tired of being told that I'm not supposed to speak up about this or that I'm not supposed to be upset or I'm not supposed to look at this or whatever. I'm tired of the distractions. I'm tired of being diminished when I want to talk about something, okay? Now, how you talk about it is going to be imperative as well. Call an Archangel Gabriel to help you with communicating, especially if you have to communicate with someone one-on-one -on -one or you have to stand up. Maybe you're an individual and you're standing up to a company, this sort of thing. Uh, I have been getting this uh, message too, that things that are in place are going to start crumbling. We've been getting that message for a very long time, but this is about, I gotta be careful, uh, social media platforms. So if you're like me and you have this sort of thing and you've been experiencing things that are 
unjust behind the scenes, get ready. Get ready. I don't know where we're all supposed to go. I guess we'll wait for the information to come in. But um, there could be something along those lines, unless the only way that that wouldn't happen is if, um, you know, because we're all having the chance to grow and develop. If people start to do that, we can, you know, then make things better, <laughs> I guess. But I don't know that everyone's going to choose that. Again, that's sort of a wait and see. That's really about energy and manifesting and how people are going to be putting that out there. Okay. But when we say rock the boat, I'm going to come back to that. Be prepared for something to maybe not, I mean, maybe for some of you, maybe it's rocking your world, but maybe it's more just like kind of getting your attention, getting your attention. It's going to look different for everybody, but make sure that whatever it is that you are looking at it and not dismissing it not saying, okay, you know what? I'm too afraid to look at that. Or, you know what? I don't want to heal that or whatever. We're in a space now where we have to really start especially light workers and, you know, star seeds and earth angels, we really need to start looking at how this humanness, okay, this human uh, way of thinking maybe has made us sick, maybe has dragged us down. Maybe we've been caught up in it. Where do our defenses get up? Because we are so afraid someone's going to get us. Um, where do you get, you know, a little codependent. I, I'm not a psychologist. I have to say this, you guys know, I'm not a psychologist. This is not a replacement for therapy. Uh, but where do we tend to kind of think that we have to save everybody? You know, all those things that you already know. If you are someone who focuses merely on your surface level and your whole happiness, your whole happiness um, existence is, or your experience is contingent upon what's happening outside of you, your career, your love partner, you're always caught up in the shallow stuff too. And I'm not saying that relationships and career that that's shallow. I'm talking more specifically of people who are really taking a very shallow look at everything. Now, if you found your way to this video, it's because there's some bit of soul calling that says that's trapping you. That's trapping you. That's getting you caught in a little prison. And so it's time now to expand and remember yourself. So it's not that you're bad. It's just you're getting your, your spiritual calling. Okay. And that's an awesome thing. <laughs> it's beautiful. So this is meant to free us. It's meant to unlock us from, you know, something that's been kind of running in the back of our mind that informs our choices and we end up, you know, self-sabotaging or we end up, you know, doing something because somebody else says we should or we give in to an idea of ourselves that's not what you came up with, <laughs> but what somebody else came up with, right? So there's that whole layout globally. Let's go there. I'm seeing oceans. I'm seeing oceans getting cleaned up, but we have to be careful. If you're somebody who's very passionate about cleaning up the oceans or passionate about anything, especially let's just take uh, the environment. If you come at people and you say, you are all awful for letting this happen and how dare you, and you need to be out there picking up the beaches just like me. Um, people are not going to respond well to that. This is another message that's been coming through for individuals as well. Um, we have to be careful on how we communicate with one another. But if we come from a place of, hey, did you know that this was happening? You know, this isn't something that we get to see a whole lot. I'm going to offer this information to you. Hey, this is what we're doing. We could use some help out here. If you're willing and able, can you come on out and help us? We need to start coming from that more cooperative um, place and also a place of love. You know this. It's not, <laughs> I'm not giving you new information here. But we can, you know, get really caught up in this human existence and get so passionate about things that we, we come at it with force and anger and um, defensiveness, perhaps, or self-righteousness. That's a big one. Self-righteousness. And what happens? We're still divided. So two things sort of being revealed here. The control mechanisms and us taking our power back and saying, okay, this is the direction we're going to move in but also understanding the energy behind what you're fighting for and how the energy of your approach is really what it comes down to. So if we are not careful with the energy of our approach, and that doesn't mean be fake, that means because you can't fool the universe. You can't just put on an act, okay? You have to feel it through your entire being. I'm gonna come from a place of not being angry at humans, but a place of, hey, I'm going to come from a place of love, but hey, did you know that this was happening, <laughs> right? Um, and, and being there for one another and not closing the door on each other when, you know, because they're saying that people are really jumping to conclusions quite a bit about one another. And that is 
we're feeding into it. We're feeding into what has been put into us to agitate us, to turn us against one another. And that's not the solution. The solution is not fighting. The solution is finding the love and the connection between two human beings and realizing what the real problem is. I've said this before in a video. Is this going to be a completely tumultuous week? It depends. I can never tell you that. The angels won't tell you that. They don't interfere with human free will. Is there the potential for people to react badly to uh, change? Yeah, I mean, just saying. <laughs> like, that's just how humans are. You know, we might not react so well. So be aware of that. Um, if there's some shakeup or what have you, really make an effort here to find the peace, the harmony, the love, the grace, all of that. Yes? Make sure you are, get out into nature if you can. This is a good time to do that. Or, you know, find some activity that helps you get into a meditative space. Uh, I like to do that. I was just telling somebody I like to do that when I'm hiking. Um, or you can do gardening or, you know, something like that. Something that has to do with nature and the earth. So there is that. Anything else? Watch what you're saying to one another. Watch your accusations. We all do this, don't we? Um, that yeah, there, there. Okay, so there's this thing that we're all doing. They're showing me with with all of us having our walls up, and so we'll point our words at people, and we don't really mean what we're saying. Okay, this is another message that's been coming up <laughs> quite a bit recently. Um, just watch communicating, okay, and watch how you say things, and also watch how you're getting communicated to. So what I mean by that is if someone is saying something in a not very nice way, they're saying, retreat your energy, retreat your energy from that. You don't have to partake in it, uh, you, but we don't want to overcorrect you and be like, I'm above this and I'm going to leave because you're making me feel uncomfortable. You know, whatever. It, it just remain very, very balanced. If someone's doing their thing, let them do their thing. Cooperation here. Okay. Be more connected in, in our own grid and remembering ourselves. That's what needs to happen. So don't get thrown, I think is the bottom line here. Don't get thrown. If something happens in your personal life, <laughs> I'm laughing because um, I've had a lot of things around home that's been occurring. Nothing major, just like little minor annoyances. Uh, just had the management here to fix something. And the second he went out, I went into take a shower, uh, and the handle broke off right in my hand. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm not over here with like some superhuman strength or anything. I was like, really another thing to fix. Is that right? And you know, I just put it down, put it in another work order. We just got to wait. Right. So, you know, it's just little weird things like that. But if we, uh, are so on edge that the slightest little thing could set us off and we start, you know, really losing it, Okay, well, you're not going to be set up for what's to come. It's going to be a lot of things that are asking us to think differently, to make different choices, to remember ourselves, to be more cooperative, as I've been saying, and to come from a space of love. It shouldn't be that hard, but it's interesting, isn't it? All right, so there's that part. Let's get some cards here. All right, back on the Moonology deck. I used a deck last week and then uh, I went to put it down in the description box and I did, but it, it you know, it's out of print. So it's kind of hard to get a hold of. I'm like, I don't know. Should I be using decks that you can't really get a hold of anymore? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, mm. okay. We're back. All right. <laughs> I'm still here with you. Let's see what else we got going on here. They're, they're saying for, for some people out there, this could be a really pleasurable kind of week in, in like you can fall in love with life again because whatever comes about, you know, we get so scared of change and I, you know, I am giving all the cautions around that, but you know, it could be something that finally comes in, you handle it and you're free. You're free and you're going to be, you know, yeah, creating the next chapter from a completely different perspective and creating beautiful things. There's a great potential here as well. All right. So the first card that was sticking out of the deck is meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So really that's what we have been saying here. You know, just take some time to not react to everything. Um, you don't even have to respond, 
necessarily unless your response is to give the cold shoulder that's not very nice okay <laughs> we don't just want to be escaping all of the time but really we got to be doing that soul work guys and if you don't know what that looks like it looks like unplugging from the 3d reality for a moment not in denial not in denial if you've watched me for any amount of time you know i say that all the time not doing that approach but rather just giving your heart a break here and just tuning back in getting yourself back into alignment getting your chakras into alignment and um, you know fixing your structure your true essence letting that come back into full power okay so that's part of that message and then what else do we have here i'm going to shuffle a little bit more all right okay so i I might be klutzy. I almost dropped the deck for a second time. But I think whenever that starts to occur with the cards, the cards will actually reflect, and this sounds weird, but it will actually reflect a little bit of an energy. If they're flying everywhere, like not like jumpers, but like flying everywhere, that means a little bit of chaotic energy. And everyone's going to respond differently. Some people are going to give into the chaos because they're afraid and they're going to just feel uh, scattered and not uh, know what to do, right? Uh, but in this case, or, or they could, the cards could be sticky as well. And that means there's stuck energy. So this week we have a lot of them just kind of flying and being a little chaotic. So make sure, as the first card says, make sure you're meditating. All right. Getting clear. And actually that's what the Archangel Michael seven day meditation challenge is all about. Clearing away that old programming, uh, and getting your clarity, understanding yourself deprogramming from what's been fed to you okay all right so then we have nothing is yet set in stone mutable moon don't think it's game over yet don't think it's game over so this could mean oh so all of the stuff that we've said it's just how it is there's no changing it don't fight it just go along with it so we don't have to think about it that's changing that is changing the powers that be, whatever that means to you, um, they're not on as firm foundation as we've been told, okay? Uh, or if you have some situation in your life and you think that you're powerless, you are not powerless in this situation. If you change your own energy and change your perspective, the insight will come. The inspiration will flow to you. So just be aware of that as well. You're very close to achieving your goal, gibbous moon. So whatever goes away, let it go away. Whoever needs space. So this is another thing too. You might have somebody who kind of walks, or not walks out of your life, but kind of backs up. Uh, that's okay. All right, let that happen because there's going to be some understanding that comes through that separation. Or if you are, you know, if you're getting too hung up in, I want to have this kind of achievement in my career nothing wrong with having goals but make sure that you're very balanced in in your whole entire life so you don't want to just define your happiness uh, as i said before you don't want to just define your happiness based on how successful you are in your career you've seen those people they are of two left brains yes and how balanced are they not very not at all how kind are they mm. it's not it's it's me you know, i wouldn't say that they're terrible people certainly not but there's something missing, isn't there? I can't say it enough. Balance. Okay. So there is that. And then a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancer. See, you see how this is going? <laughs> some emotional moment, some emotional, it could be for some people healing trauma. Uh, again, make sure you have proper support as you do that. Uh, or it could be something that you really fed a lot of, you know, your energy into trying to get a certain outcome. You finally let go and say, nope, I got to just be in the flow and let it be what it's going to be. The more I push on it, the more it goes out of my existence or the more sort of negative energy that I put around it because I'm putting doubt around it. If I'm focused on it so much, if I'm, you know, focusing on it shows like I don't think it's going to happen. So I have to try to push it to happen. Does that make sense? So more than anything, it's what we said from the top. There's some deep resolution to a deep wounding is what I want to say. A deep wounding. And cancer is very emotional. 
okay? And it's a full moon. So there's something, the card says full moon in Cancer is where I'm getting that. So there is this message here that whatever emotional thing comes up, you know, that you maybe have avoided, that's a big thing here, where you guys have avoided, well, we all have avoided looking at painful stuff because who likes to do that? Um, this is gonna come up now and ask for your attention so that you can release it, okay. So we have, aw, pink, let love in, the number is four. Get into your higher self space, your fifth dimensional self. Let that divine love in. And I mean, we could take this as romantic love, that's always a possibility, but if you're not healthy, if you're going into a love partnership to be saved or to feel validated or to just not have to be on your own, these are not good reasons for creating a relationship. And unfortunately, if you look around, a lot of people are basing their partnership on that. Why might that be problematic? Well, if it works for you, it works for you. But I'm going to tell you, the way the world is shifting, I don't think a lot of those old uh, habits are going to be working or fitting in so well anymore. We're going to start seeing people parting ways. Why? It's not based on divine love. It's not real love connection. But we have the potential here, especially this week, let it be your goal, let it be your focus to bring in divine love and be a carrier of it. Let the love in. This will guide us and this will show us this is how we resolve these long-standing issues. This is how we can move forward. This is how we can enjoy being on this planet a little bit better with the fellow beings on this planet, right? So this, it, it's tulips on here. So springtime, renew, well, at least you're in the Northern hemisphere, renewal, you know, uh, brightness, bring in and uh, some of this uplift, that's what it is, upliftment, bring in some of the upliftment and allow yourself to enjoy your life, to not just be down in whatever you see as problematic, and just realize that everything has a solution. And we access the solution even to the big world problems by letting the love in. Okay? Comment down below. Let me know how your week is going. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.